Hey, what's up? It's Blake. And if you are interested in making money online, resale, Amazon, eBay, retail arbitrage, you've probably seen my face. Today is a gloomy Thursday, but that's fine because the more gloom and rain we have here in southeastern Michigan, the less competition there is at these thrift stores, like right there, we're at a Goodwill. Today, fun day. Hopefully I find some great stuff. I'm looking to flip this online, maybe even Facebook Marketplace local pickup, baby. And uh, I hope, I think, I believe, we're meeting up with Dante, whose YouTube channel is Prison to Profit. So check that out. He's been on my live stream. He did great in the reseller bracket. Really hardworking guy, a true hustler. Uh, so we're gonna see him. He's driving from like Winnemucca, Las Vegas. I mean, Winnemucca, Nevada. He's been all around recently. So that'll be, it's gonna be a fun day. Stick with me for the whole video. Give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment. You know, what everyone else on YouTube says to do. When I go to this Goodwill, I am aware that they are picking the good stuff out, the video games, the consoles, whatever, and selling on their own website or on Amazon, but they still miss some things, like this DVD set right here. Whenever I'm selling DVDs, I'm fine with a bit higher sales rank. I sell them on Amazon, so anything up to like almost 200,000 sales rank, I will merchant fulfill uh, for FBA. I like to stay below 100,000, like 80,000 this time of year if it's summer because things sell slower in the summer. There's two things I wanted to point out about this one. First of all, that not for sale printing on the back, that doesn't mean you can't sell it. That means they don't want you to sell it, but if you own this, of course you can sell it. It's not fake, it's not a forgery, it's fine. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say though is it's not worth selling. Usually, like sealed, National Geographic stuff is a big win, uh, but that wasn't. I really like this a lot. It's a starter Michigan hockey jersey. Eight bucks for it is not not that expensive. Uh, it's a little bit worn, no, no tears, no stains. I think probably this summer I'll get maybe 35 bucks for it, 40 bucks for it. But I would guess if I held this until fall, I could probably command like a $60 uh, eBay sale price. I'm not sure. I'm really kind of not selling so many clothing items lately. Uh, but if I see something like that, like an easy flip, then I do generally pick it up. I bought these awesome Levi's 501 double X for five bucks. It's, you know, five bucks in tax. They're not gonna go for a huge premium like uh, some of the other jeans do, but still 35 bucks, 30 bucks, that's an easy flip. These two clothing items, usually, again, I don't pick up clothing items, but I was so, uh, I got skunked on other stuff. So I said, you know what, I will buy these, I'll list them when I get home. I'm not gonna have a death pile, but I don't like buying clothes. What I do like to buy is electronics. Now, unfortunately, there are no VCRs or DVD VCR combos, but I did find some good 30 pin. Uh, there's like Sony, I think it's called ICF IP50 or 50 IP, one of the two. They take a while to sell. The white one goes for more than the black one does. Uh, it's like 50 bucks in the white one, 35 in the black one on Amazon if you are ungated, which I am. Most of you aren't, so it's almost not worth talking about. Uh, what everyone can sell, and what everyone should consider selling, is these rock band guitars. They are for the PS3, and when you buy these, in the store you can't test them, so make sure they have the battery panel. This one <laughs> doesn't. Uh, and then touch the whammy bar like that to make sure it's not flopping around because no one wants a floppy whammy bar. And while I have your attention, I wanted to thank you for watching the video. And if you can, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with the kind of things you want to see on my channel. I really appreciate all of your viewership. Okay, so my battery ran out in the store, but here's what I got at this most recent Salvation Army. I got a uh, Samsung Blu-ray player. Um, HDMI only, so I couldn't test it in the store, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I tested for, um, to make sure that the tray comes out. And then I got, uh, well, I'll show, I'll save the best for last because I got one really great thing. Uh, this is just like a, you know, microphone clip. It was a uh, half off, so it was only a buck fifty or two bucks. It'll sell for like 25 bucks probably. I got a, a shower head right there. Really nice shower head. This thing, uh, retail's new for about 60. I'm seeing used, refurbished for about uh, 35, 40 on, uh, on eBay. But then the real like big winner is this right here. Sony uh, WM 
F41. These things can go for like a hundred bucks. I don't know if it works. I have to test it obviously, but there's not like gross corrosion back there in the battery port. So I'm feeling really good about this. If this does work, it could easily be, you know, a hundred dollars. I paid four bucks for it. But also, uh, look who, look who showed up. We got Dante right here. <laughs> His channel is Prison to Profit. He's all the way from South Carolina. Wow, so, ooh, you got some, you didn't buy the Xbox, no, you bought no, that. I, I was gonna say, that'd be yeah, a great find. Yeah, just give it to me. But Everything da else, though. Dante, show show us your Jeff Foxworthy thing you, you that I, I passed up like an idiot. Aww. I walked right by it. Yes, so, might be a redneck. As soon as I saw it, I knew it was gonna be some kind of profit. <laughs> Wasn't sure the profit, when I scanned it, it was worth, four, I think I said 40 bucks, maybe? No, dude, it was like 60. 60, yes, 40, so it was 59.99, that's what it was, yeah. something like that. What'd so. you pay for it? I only paid $5.99. Damn, dude. And I get to send this into Amazon and set it and forget it. So that's the best part about it. Yeah, great pick, man. Not much to say about this stop. My only purchase was a Vizio Blu-ray player. I scanned a few other things. I picked up a Portal of Power Skylanders toy, uh, which for the Xbox 360, those are worth considerably less than those for the Xbox One. Again, you know, not every store is gonna be a winner, but just be consistent. Look up the brands that you know are good, the toys you know are good, and it's gonna end up being profitable for you in the long run. Looks like somebody uh, made an unauthorized donation. Now, I'm not gonna go through that because I got my own stuff right here. But I wouldn't judge you if you did. <laughs> yeah, I'll film it, yeah. What did you get, Dante? I got a Twister, Twister on the Go board game. Going for like 30 bucks, surprisingly. And then, uh, uh, I think it was that glow in the dark puzzle. Yeah, New York. Yeah, glow in the dark puzzle. I think it's going for like 20. It's trending for like 19 and some change on eBay right now. I'm restricted on Amazon. Oh. So that's why I can't spend it in for that nice $30. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so here's what I got Logitech headset, five bucks. This over 20. Cheap flip, but very lightweight. I'll probably Amazon this. We got this toy right here. I couldn't find any comps. Uh, there was on Amazon, it was a dead listing. It was only $3. We still have the FN ski right there. So somebody's return. Oh shoot, I almost dropped it. But um, it's, you know, Hot Wheels. It's a die cast 124 model. So I, I'm sure it's worth at least 20 bucks. I have no clue the exact number, but uh, worth, worth buying it at $3. After that, what else did I get? I showed you that Vizio uh, Blu-ray player, and then I got Risk 2 for PC, Windows 95, 98, going for 30 bucks plus shipping on Amazon, amazingly. High sales rank, like, you know, 55,000, uh, but it'll sell, I don't know, four months, five months. And then As I Lay Dying, Shadows, Our Security, a CD that reminds me of my younger days. That's why I bought it, it was only 50 cents. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll make two bucks on it, but I'll be, I'll be uh, passing on this, this great genre of music. Normally I avoid Goodwills because they are so, uh, so often picking the good stuff out and selling it themselves. This Goodwill, however, does not really scan toys or doesn't know how to sell toys. I don't know. I find so many good toys here. Those two Fisher Price dog toys. Uh, there's some Sony clocks down there. I think it's a leapfrog, like, um, Etch-a-Sketch type letter writing toy and that new in box Wheel of Fortune toy all right here in like the first five feet of shelving But you know, it's not always good. Sometimes I get nothing here, too It's really a matter of going to as many stores as you can uh, Because if you go to five stores in one day the odds of them all being bad are pretty low this Space Jam hat I thought it was really cool. I was like, oh awesome Space Jam's coming out this summer. It's gonna be a big seller No, 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 no there's about 50 of these listed in various colors on eBay right now, and they sell for like $9. Okay, that was a really, really, really good stop. Mostly, I just got toys. Uh, these Fisher Price and like Leapfrog toys sell really well for me. Uh, you know, obviously the condition and how clean they are really matters a lot. So I'll, I'll pass it if there's stains, I'm leaving them in the, in the store. If you can see any of like the uh, lettering gets... <laughs> Guess what it Battery's still on. Um, any of the lettering wa wears off, I, d I don't get them then. Uh, anything else to say? I got a few DVDs, some electronics. This, I paid five bucks for this for my own phone because, you know, whatever. I still have an old 6S Plus. I haven't upgraded yet. 
I've been delaying as long as I can. Uh, but everything else is just regular electronics or, um, you know, there's a board game right there, Wheel of Fortune Bingo, you guys saw earlier. Really did well here, really happy with it. M might do one more spot, uh, gonna get lunch, talk to Dante, and then probably that'll be the end of the video. But stick around because something special is gonna happen at the end of the video. I'm not gonna tell you what, but, um, well, you'll find out.